It is great to have you back here at CoinSurrey's channel. Request from viewer is, what do you think will happen next? You can also comment your opinion. Thank you to all the subscribers of our CoinSurrey's. Who came to our channel CoinSurrey's? You will always be info with the latest CoinSurrey's news. Option 1, will there be a settlement of XRP and XRP? Option 2, or XRP will win. Option 3, or SEC will win. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. This video is here to discuss an XRP exchange traded fund. Major financial organizations are building financial products on top of the cryptocurrency market, which means that XRP will actually see one of the first ETFs produced for it. I've been stating this on this channel for a while now. This is due to the fact that these organizations demand transparency in order to create products with practical ecosystems in mind. Here I will discuss the significance of exchange-traded funds ETFs, for long-term price appreciation and present new evidence that an XRP ETF is on the way in this video. Do not leave until the film crew has wrapped up, only then will we be able to break into the charts. Being able to provide my support to XRP ledger initiatives is something I really like doing, even if I'm obviously not a developer and hence cannot create my own on the platform. I must commend XRP Fury for his tireless efforts behind the scenes, you guys. I also take pleasure in promoting XRP products through this platform. My goal in creating this video is to give you new proof that an XRP ETF is about to be released. So that we can get right to the point, let's talk about the ETFs first. Speculation about the possibility of an XRP ETF never materializing has persisted for a while. Nevertheless, I have the evidence to show that they are covertly getting ready for it. First, I'll go over how the Bitcoin Spot ETF fared because I think a lot of people misunderstood the ATF's prospects and assumed it would fail just because Bitcoin's price increased following its approval. Bitcoin appears to have touched rock bottom, which is the first thing that comes to mind. Bitcoin has really bounced back from its lows, as demonstrated in the seventh stage. Even if the cryptocurrency saw a decline and lost part of its post-ETF euphoria, as a result of daily infusions of thousands of bitcoins by institutional investors, the cryptocurrency market is seeing a rapid recovery. Institutions have never done this before in the history of the asset class. Any future downturn, in my view, will be swallowed by flows like these. Furthermore, this dip was identical to all others. Another notable event that is quickly approaching is the release of a second Bitcoin product, with the proliferation of local exchange-traded funds ETFs, offered by various financial institutions, for example, Charles Schwab has its own ETF, and the prediction by some analysts of a possible further influx of these ETFs into the market, this development has the potential to reawaken the excitement cycle and increase long-term purchasing pressure. A quicker exit from the spot market for Bitcoin is possible in proportion to the speed with which these funds can generate local cash, the number of marketers promoting these products to their clients, and the number of institutional investors observing these things. The drops will be repurchased at a much faster rate with each purchase, in my opinion, because of that. There is no doubt that these endeavors have yielded satisfactory results. Even while Bitcoin did not immediately rise following the introduction of ETFs, it is important to remember that there was an initial decline. Additionally, we were forced to deal with some extraordinary conditions. Not only is there massive purchasing pressure on the ETFs, but there is also due to a single black swan event, Grayscale had no choice but to sell more than 100,000 Bitcoins. After the Grayscale's ETF was live, many investors decided it wasn't worth it to stick with the product for another year. Afterwards, 100,000 Bitcoin swamped spot market activity. Regardless, the price of Bitcoin is currently rising as if nothing had transpired. An unexpected 100,000 Bitcoins showed up on the Grayscale market, but that was only a one-time occurrence. Each and every other ETF manager quickly bought Bitcoin. After then, the market began to soar to unprecedented levels. An exciting turn of events has taken place. I believe the story that suggested Bitcoin ETFs were the best will die out if we can debunk it. Additionally, we will probably hit a position where 60,000 is mentioned as a possible record high. With the debut of these ETFs, Bitcoin did indeed surpass its local 52-week high. 
If Bitcoin is able to break over the $50,000 mark, as it has been attempting to achieve for a few months, a new bull run, powered by institutional demand, is set to begin, and these Bitcoin ETFs were just the beginning. We should also discuss an XRP spot ETF right now on this channel. I have been saying for a while that I think an XRP ETF is imminent, since it is now known that spot XRP ETFs have already been constructed. Many countries view XRP as having clarity, which is why this is happening. Additionally, we are aware that XRP is highly visible in the US, perhaps much more so than other cryptocurrencies, as a result of Ripple's triumph over Sexy in court. Moreover, market leader BlackRock is actively promoting these ETFs, and a former Ripple member currently serves as head of digital asset strategies for the company. This individual is ardent supporter of XRP and also has close ties to BlackRock's CEO. Even though an XRP ETF is still possible, Ripple has appointed a senior manager to handle the XRP asset coin, which is something we didn't know before. Personally, I think there's a connection between XRP and it. For a while now, Ripple has sensed that something is about to happen, and ATF represents that. Even though it's plain to see that it will be among the first to change, for some reason it keeps cropping up. Taking into account the fact that many major institutions are currently using this product. I think we are getting close to the end of this project. This is fantastic news because it implies that IE's XRP holdings will be pushed off the market by the favorable storylines we've been talking for the Bitcoin spot ETF. My heart is racing with anticipation for this. On top of that, I don't think most people in the market realize it's coming soon. Talking about XRP. Despite claims to the contrary, this digital asset has always been grossly undervalued and is therefore unavailable to institutions. It seems like they're very into it, though, so she probably simply wanted to avoid bringing it up. I believe that FOMO will prevail and keep us in the group once people understand that XRP is more than just a token that Ripple is selling to generate money. The XRP is easy to understand, XRPP is useful in the real world, and XRP has its own ecosystem. Because I have faith in XRP's capacity to maintain price growth at least on par with its historical performance, we'll wrap up this video by discussing my expectations for the cryptocurrency's future value. I believe, however, that once the market realizes that this is how the institutions see and understand XRP, a buying frenzy will ensue. The incredible growth of XRP almost appears impossible when viewed on the graph. Looking at XRP's historical performance, nevertheless, reveals that its growth can be exponential and incredibly rapid. Important to XRP's prospective future growth is the much-discussed symmetrical triangle design, due to the similarities between this pattern and the 2017 breakout, a similar escalation may occur. This suggests that the possibility of XRP reaching $64 in the $60 to $70 region is not totally out of the question. This figure isn't exponentially more than prior growth trends, contrary to first impressions. The possibility exists of a more mild increase, perhaps $10. This is also not totally implausible, considering XRP's history. Many of the price predictions, in my view, aren't as implausible as some may assume. Looking at XRP's past maneuvers reveals that it can reach tremendous accelerations. Let's have a brief glance at XRP's current state. Right now, it's revolving around extreme consolidation while balancing dangerously between its lowest support and highest resistance levels. I believe that XRP is about to enter a new phase of exponential growth, free from its present instability, because of something that is about to occur. Once in a while, XRP will stay horizontal, making it appear like it won't move forward, and then, suddenly, it will break free and plunge ahead. Is this meaning that we are approaching that stage? It appears like we're nearing the point where everyone is fed up with waiting and ready to quit. On sometimes, XRP may do something unexpected that no one anticipated. We ought to be crossing our fingers that this day arrives soon. From my vantage point. It would appear that, at its most basic level, everything is in harmony. Additionally, while looking at charts from an analytical standpoint. It seems like XRP is about to reach unprecedented heights. This update ought to have clarified things. We are eternally grateful for your support. 
As always, we ask that you subscribe and like our page. Goodbye for now.